The second story to enter into John Fredrickson's report, however, wouldn't take place until two years later. Though, it would happen on the exact same stretch of road where Lori Indrizzi saw her third fiend. In 1991, Doris Gibson was driving to a friend's house to pick up another friend from a party when she hit something on the thoroughly foggy stretch of Bray Road, causing her front tires to lift off the ground. Naturally, she got out of the car to investigate, thinking she had hit a small animal, but found signs of neither animal nor injury. So she made her way back to her car. That was when it lunged at her through the fog. It was brown, had straight fur, a canine face, a muscular frame, and was striding on two legs. Gibson quickly bolted to her car door, not particularly in the mood to get a closer look, and just put her foot on the gas pedal and started going. However, as soon as she tried to pull out of there, the upright canine tried holding on to the rear bumper of the car to prevent it from getting away. In fact, it was claimed the next day that deep scratch marks were etched into the car's rear. But this is not where the story ends though. On the way back that night, Gibson's new passenger and friend shouted, Look at that thing! The two of them saw the same muscular werewolf-esque being, and Gibson took roughly zero seconds before deciding to put the pedal to the metal and get out of there.